There's a lot to cover for November, an album that I personally overlooked at the time. Sir, aka Sir Daryl Farris, is someone along with D Smoke and Tiffany Goucher, who are people who I'll 2000% need to cover more of in the future. As usual, I'm going to go into detail on some of these tracks. If you just want to be entertained, go elsewhere. If you want to actually learn some of the symbolism behind each of the tracks, I'll promise I'll do my best to give you some interesting perspectives. As usual, please remember these are my interpretations of these songs. Listen and form your own meaning from what these tracks mean. Much love to everyone. Sir mentioned in his DJ Booth interview that his first two EPs were focused on putting out a positive message and starting off on the right foot. He was establishing who he was for people who had no idea about him. When he signed to TDE, no one knew him. November was an opportunity to open up and say more and his full length project with TDE has very few features. It lets us learn more about him and his stories. He mentions he made about 100 songs of which 10 really made it. The first track is an intro, it has sparkling synths and a robotic voice that greets Sir as he's on some kind of spaceship. The higher pitched harmonies that he adds himself is a brief taster of what's to come. He used to be church harmony for his gospel singer mum, who herself was a Michael Jackson backup singer. The metaphor in this situation is that the album is a journey back in time, whereby each track represents something that a past memory may have inspired. That's alright is a breakdown of a relationship and how the people around each person affects it. He also talks about the subtle things that happen in them, both good and bad. We Be Slow Dancing to Uncle Luke is a reference to Luther Roderick Campbell. Something people don't know about him is that Luther was embroiled in a case with his two live crew, whereby a parody song they made was actually taken to Supreme Court. They won and helped reinforce the definition of what fair use actually is. Something foreign looks at a relationship as a product to be discarded, but also how it affects you over time. The idea is that it all feels exhilarating and fun, is referenced in line 6 when he says magic, right? He has a line in verse 1, should have never introduced me to the beauty in the dark side of heaven's view. It could be a reference to how love can sometimes blind you, or that people can often overlook things like abuse or mistreatment because they're lost in lust. The last line here in Schoolboy Q's verse is also interesting because he says failed at life, then failing you, now I'm am. Could he be talking about how he lost all his ambition in life to lust or he might be talking about how some people lose themselves in relationships. The very definition of who you are is lost because your identity is now as a couple. Sir himself actually annotated this song a lot on Genius, the whole song is a homage to reggae. The main sample is One Spliff A Day by reggae artist Billy Boyo, who was actually a child DJ himself. He mentions in the song how smoking marijuana has weakened his memory, and he smokes significantly less than he used to. The line, cause life is so much better when you live in slow motion, speaks of how good things in life always go by so fast. That slow motion is the only way to have enough time to take something in. He mentions how the line, but I'm never late, is how he had many day jobs back in the day such as at Guitar Center that encouraged a strict schedule in him and that's now a habit. I think one of his last annotations is extremely important for the line, I've been the man you believe me now. He talks about how he once knew he wanted to do music solely for the rest of his life, that he'd dedicate himself to music no matter what. The weight of confidence and the push to be better of himself in a family full of musical geniuses has allowed him to have that self-confidence and helped him push through. Something new as a track covers the honeymoon phase of any relationship, when there's a lot to discover about someone else, everything seems fun. Over time however, the novelty wears off as you realise that the realities of life hit you. The main sample of this song is from Freddie Hubbard, who was a famous American jazz trumpeter. The original song used to hear was called That Rainy Day, a very mellow and sombre trumpet piece. Sir takes that concept of saying even if you lose yourself in a relationship, what new things you discover about each other may actually be a good thing. That having a bond can lead to things other than heartbreak and understanding the truth about someone else is actually enlightening. On the surface, this song appears to be about falling in love with a stripper but restraining yourself due to your emotions. From a symbolism point of view, you could see it as Sir wanting all the benefits of a relationship without being open and honest about yourself. Another way to think about this is looking at yourself in a mirror. It's hard to accept who you are when you focus on the flaws and are hesitant to fixing them. 
strippers are actually quite symbolic in wider culture and it can be interpreted in a variety of ways to see someone stripping may reflect a goal that you feel is taunting you which is always being felt as out of reach feeling teased with desire is this uh, saying that as part of a very talented musical family that the bar for success will forever be rising and almost unreachable the rise of technology has made it so that people can have long distance relationships and it hasn't always been that way people used to have to live next to each other or close to each other to be in something this intro is self-explanatory 10 missed calls i fell asleep that he has priorities away from keeping others and other important people involved in his life and as he says i don't really feel like arguing i'd be out partying in verse 2 he also has a phrase the money locomotive don't stop because she lose her top his priority is success 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 in the form of money as an entertainer he knows he has a short lifespan to make a living and he's attempting to maximize that but it's also important from the other angle too top working me like my nickname kunta either a reference to Kunta Kinte, who was a slave in the novel Roots, the saga of an American family, or a reference to King Kunta by Kendrick. Wars are symbolically seen as the desire for violence and power, overwhelming the need for order and peace. In this sense, Sir doesn't literally want to violently fight, but instead wants to fight for a past lover's love. It's an interesting line because he's not going to be at peace until he rekindles that romance. There's an admittance of past mistakes with the line, yes, I let you down, and also, my ammunition just wasn't that self-sufficient. Shooting a gun in dreams generally denotes past experiences of life that you badly wish to forget. Here, Sir's choice of symbolism with guns is a device used to say, let me try and right my wrongs. Better as a track is about wishing, and is essentially a breakup song. The idea that one isn't compatible with someone else for a multitude of reasons is a sad focus here. She would spread those wings, she'd be too damn fly, a representation of her knowing her own self-worth and leaving to look for other men. She don't care about the money or fame, is a line that proves Sir's abilities were not respected. Ironic because he sees his entire identity wrapped in what he does. And as we've already mentioned, this woman doesn't care about any of that, she only cares about the intrinsic motivations he barely has for her. The ending of this song sees him delete his transmission. Is it that this memory of him remembering how he wasn't adequate in that relationship still haunting him? Either way, he goes into sleep mode at the end of this track. Dreaming of Me is a nice calming mood progression from the previous track better, and sort of adds to this space narrative now that he's in sleep mode. He can begin to dream. In his dreams, he thinks of the past, where his past lover is dreaming of him. This part sort of reminded me of Inception with the dreams inside of a dream scenario. The fact that he's on her mind represents some sort of connection to the past, a yearning for an ideal state of mind that is at peace. You didn't think I would be here tonight is a statement that she's not trying to think of the past, rather that it comes to her naturally and unexpectedly, she can't shake that feeling off. Think of the title, Summer in November. It's usually winter in November. It's almost rare or impossible for it to be summer in November, and yet in Sir's dream, it is. The line, winter couldn't take your heart, is that time is no object to how he feels about her. It's the impossible. He's come from seeing love as a product, easy to get and easy to discard, now to feeling inexplicable about it. He acknowledges her intrinsic values with the line, if I didn't have a dime, you would care for me the same. As mentioned earlier, this is actually a significant line because it shows how he's realized that the things women or his lovers seek the most are not based on his identity or what he does, but who he is as a person.